What's going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wayne here with a new Ask the Locks question. I know it's been ages since I've done one of these, but hey, if you guys don't send me any questions, you get no Ask the Locks videos. I just want to let you guys know that as of right now, any comment left below in any of my videos that have nothing to do with the subject matter of the video will be deleted. Don't take this as a disrespect or that I don't like your input or anything like that. It's just the fact that I like to have the comment sections to talk about the subject of the video that I'm doing. You know, if you want to have a general conversation with me about whatever, that's what my Twitter, Facebook fan page, that's what they're for. But as far as with YouTube is concerned, whatever video I do, whether it's a reaction video, an Ask the Logs video, a review, or anything like that, I would appreciate that the comments you guys leave in the comment section below had to do something with the video. I don't, I don't want to do a video on, you know, the Justice League trailer and then you're talking about, you know, some other shit. I, I don't, you know, I don't really care for all that stuff. So, I will be deleting any comment that I feel has nothing to do with the actual video. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. I mean, kudos to all the guys who, you know, comment, you know, about the subject in my videos or guys who send me requests, you know, to my Twitter, my Facebook fan page or whatever. You guys are awesome for doing that. But as I said before, and I'm just trying to be clear, any comment left in the comment section of any of my videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the video is just going to be deleted again. Don't take it as a disrespect. It's just that I want, I like, what's the word I want to use? I like consistency. I like consistency. I don't want to do a video on, I don't want to do a try not to laugh video. And then you guys are just talking about something, some death in Somalia or something like that. You know, let me talk about, let me do a video about Somalia or something. Then you can talk about it there. But other than that, you know. Just don't bring it to that video. Again, no disrespect. No disrespect at all. I just like consistency, and hopefully you guys can respect my wishes. With that being said, let's get right into this question. This question was actually posed to me by my girlfriend, and she simply asked, why can't alleged grown-ass men handle rejection? Now, if you guys are new to the channel, or haven't really seen any of my Astrolox videos before, I'd like to answer this question in two in two parts, basically. Um, I want to I try to do that with every question. I'm not gonna every question is not gonna get the same two part treatment, meaning I'm not gonna answer it the same two parts every same two parts every single question. Depending on what the nature of the question is, I'll answer it in two parts accordingly. In this case, a question like this. The two parts will be one, the reasons, and then two, the resolution. And hopefully that will make for a well-rounded answer. In any case, to answer the question, the short answer to this question is ego. And the long answer version, the long version answer to this question is the ego. Of course, it's seen, of course, it's not just that simple. There are many reasons as to why a grown man can't handle rejection. And really, but ultimately, it comes down to the fr fragile male ego. I mean, maybe they aren't used to rejection. That, that, that does exist. You know, maybe they aren't used to rejection. Maybe they're accustomed to doing the rejecting. They're used to rejecting women. They're probably, they probably weren't loved enough as a kid. So rejection is something that they've, just grown up with they probably they are they, they could just be very extremely delusional that exists too that very much does exist it could be the delivery or lack thereof of the rejection the way you you know basically the way you let them down it could be you know rejection could possibly have a psychological effect on them now that doesn't necessarily coincide with to not being loved as a kid and that might just be something that's happened to them as they got older. It takes a psychological effect on them when they get rejected. And But it does kind of coincide to the, to the fact that maybe they aren't emotionally mature 
or just completely unstable. Again, these are just a few of the many reasons as to why some men can't handle, they can't even handle the idea of being rejected, let alone the rejection itself. The fact of the matter is that rejection sucks. Whether you're a male, a female, you're a kid, or an adult, rejection just sucks in any way, shape, or form. And everyone's just going to react to it in different ways. If the reaction seems to be highly immature, it could very well be just a personality issue. That, that, and, and, that's just, and that's just my honest opinion. It could just very well be a personality issue. The ego is a hell of a drug. <laughs> it really is. We all know this. We're humans. The ego is a hell of a drug. But for the man, for the, for the male of today, when you couple the expectation of what the male of today is supposed to be, is supposed to be in today's society and couple that with the ego it's kind of a recipe for relationship disaster there's a 75 percent chance that you're going to deal with some very extremely nasty reactions when it comes to rejection ladies it is what it is it, it really just is what it is but there are ways you can minimize a fair portion of the stress that you come under when you have to reject someone first and foremost here's 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 one solution again you're welcome to try these out it's up to you i mean if you don't have any problems with rejecting guys and you don't really get any backlash cool but if you're the type of lady if you're the type of woman that can't seem to figure out why when you let some down even when it's gently they just lose their shit maybe this will help all right so maybe this will help so so again like i was saying First and foremost, you have to know the type of guy that you're dealing with. You and you all and you women know this. You know this. You're you're most you're, you're smarter than us. So you so you all know this. But you have to really you got to become like I'm talking like Sherlock Holmes, Batman, FBI, CIA type research, you know, and just study him. Study study the person that you're going on, even if it's just one date. That's, that's still just enough time to study exactly what kind of person he is. The way he talks, not only about himself, but other things. The type of job that he has. How he takes care of himself. How he displays himself around you. These are all really telling things in, in how he perceives himself. It's 2013. Pfft, I, I said 2013. It's 2017. There's so many different ways you can... Basically, do your research on people. You got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> you know, if there's someone like me who has a YouTube channel, there's that. You know, LinkedIn. You know, there's so many different outlets. There's good old, good old Google. There's so many different outlets that you have that you can research the person that you're potentially going to be going on a date with. And it's even, and it can be, and it can even be, it can even be applied to when you're doing online dating. That's when it could really apply, you know, judging by the person's profile and whatever dating, you know, online dating service you're using. The second thing, and I don't want to say this is crucial, but I will say it can play a very integral part in how... It can play a very integral part in how... A rejection is perceived by the opposite sex and it, and it's just working on your delivery ladies I know it seems like the simplest thing to do to just simply just decline any further interaction with the other person without explanation and just move along in a perfect world maybe that would work but if but obviously we me and you ladies are here having this conversation right now so obviously it's not really working to just say it's not, it, unfortunately, it doesn't really work to just say, listen, I had a good time, but I just don't see us really going any further. So, peace out. You know, you might want to get a little bit more than that. Even if you really don't feel like it, and I know oftentimes you really don't feel like it, just just, just go ahead and do it. Just just go ahead and do it. And, and what it'll do... It'll save you 
the headache of lying to them or or withholding you know withholding information or withholding the truth from them or trying to let them down easy um just be honest again i mean but i mean the, i mean don't don't resort to just being blunt is basically what i'm saying but don't sugarcoat it either i mean just be honest just just be honest if they want to know what went wrong tell them just tell them just tell them where they went wrong i mean even if they were being a complete ass if they were just being a total ass you know take the high road take the high ground and just be like listen you know tonight was okay it could have been better I don't really see our personalities really connecting like that. I'm this way, you're this way. It just doesn't really work. It's just not going to really work out. So, you know, I appreciate, I mean, if they pay for the, I appreciate you paying for the date and all that stuff, but I don't see this going any further. You know, I mean, because like, just think about it, ladies. If you get fired from your job and they don't give you any explanation, you're going to be pretty upset. We're all going to be pretty upset, you know. So in the end, again, like I said, you're going to have the maturity high ground, and you're all, and you're also going to, and it's also going to give you the satisfaction of not being responsible for their emotional or immature outbursts. You're not, I, just, I want to make that very, very clear, ladies. You're not responsible for that. How they react to the way you reject them, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, is really dependent on them. But if you do it in a way, I mean, if you reject someone in a way where it's like, if somebody else saw it and it was like, you know what? I, I, I got to give it to her. You know, she, she laid it out there. Nice, simple, not too hurtful, but not too sugar coated. I'd I'd walk away, <laughs> you know. So I, I would just walk away, you know. So it, I mean, like I said, it's not super super crucial, but it I, it would help to you know just work on your way of rejecting someone, just working work on your delivery. Make your intentions clear also. I mean, I'm talking crystal clear. If you're just dating around, if you're just trying to smash, let, I mean, come on, it's 2017, let's all be real. We're all adults. If you're just dating around, if you're just trying to smash, even if you're trying to get bait up, whatever it is that you're looking for, just let it be known. And, pref and preferably let it be known before you even go on a date. You know, make your make your intentions clear. Males mainly speak in facts, meaning we usually speak in straightforward statements. We don't really try to circumvent, you know, a point that we're trying to make. We usually just get to it. You kind of have to talk to us in that manner. And I'm pretty sure you ladies have probably heard that before. You know, how many, I mean, kind of digressing from the point of how many times where you've complained about a guy not listening to you or not remembering something you said. Unfortunately, our brains are wired to only remember, you know, key, key points, facts and stuff. Where, you know, we don't really get wrapped up or concerned with other details that lead up to the thing. Unless it's extremely, extremely important. Other than that, it's just... Who, what, when, why, and where. That's it. Who, what, when, why, and where. That, that's it. So, you know, um, I'm not going to say it's, it's going to work 100% of the time. But it does work. You'll know, find out oftentimes if you just come... If you just come at a guy... Keep, 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 keep it simple. Listen, I'm just trying to date around. I'm not trying to get tied down. I'm not trying to get you know, into a serious relationship. I'm just dating around and seeing what's out there. Or, listen, 
I'm not really trying to get attached to anybody, you know, I'm just, um, I mean, excuse my language, I'm just trying to bust this nut, basically, that, that's all I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get off, that's all, or I'm looking for a relationship, you know, I've been dating for a while, and I'm about to, I'm about ready to settle down, now, the thing about, and the, the advantage that you women have is that you automatically know right away, most of the time. Most of the time, you know right away what you're trying to do, whether you just want to date, whether you just want to hook up, or you want to be in a relationship. You you know before we do. So, if you know exactly what it is that you're trying to do, make it clear to us. It eliminates the high possibility of a guy feeling like he was being let on. It is what it is, guys. It is what it, get, it is, ladies. Um, And really... That's all I can really think about in terms of reducing the rejection issue. Rejection is just part of the game. We have to understand this. Rejection is a part of the game. It really is. Guys get rejected. Girls get rejected. It's the nature of the dating beast. It is. But you can either continue to complain about being rejected or rejecting people or try to enact some preventative measures to at least, I won't say soften the blow, but reduce the unwanted tension that comes from rejection on both sides. Okay, just on both sides. So hopefully, I answer this question not only for my girlfriend, but for all you ladies out there that are watching. I try to give myself a bit of time to give the best possible answer. So that's why, I mean, she asked me this question a couple of days ago. And I start putting my answer together as of yesterday. I try to give myself a little bit of time before I answer a question like this because I want to try to come at it from all different angles. So I am hoping this was the best possible explanation I could give you about why guys can't handle rejection. Most men can't handle rejection. You know, so ladies, post your comments in the comment section below. Share with us how you've dealt with men's reaction to rejection. I am very interested to hear. So far, I've only heard my girlfriend's stories and the story she's told me about her friends. But I'm interested to hear what you guys have went through yourselves. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends, guys and girls alike. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Keep in mind, you can also send your questions to my Twitter, my Facebook fan page, my Kiwi, or my Instagram. All the links are in the description box below. And you guys have until the end of this month. Ladies, again, I have said before, ladies, this whole month was just for you. You're welcome to ask all of your questions. You guys have until pretty much the end of, you have until the end of the month. You have until next week, Friday to get all your questions in. So, I mean, no matter how many questions come in, I will definitely do my best to answer all of them before the month is over. But you guys do have until the end of the month to send me your questions. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.